with the police. And arrest them, people. You think I'm trouble. You don't like me family. You probably don't like me. Why? Because I'm a gypsy. I'm a traveller. People don't understand us. These are our guns here, we've got a shooting. They don't want us living here, then. We all of you people don't look at us. So that's not fair. It's a traveller thing. We're proud of who we are. Yeah, they got one. There's too many of them. They make it hard for us to keep our traditions. Yeah, 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 relax! We're not going anywhere. We don't want to leave! You're not getting this. Yeah. In my daddy's life, you're not getting this. Don't judge me. People call you Pikey. What does it mean, Mum? Don't hate me. So punch me up and knee me in the face. I'm a gypsy kid. <laughs> something. Take away something is full. This time, <laughs> gypsy and traveller kids are making big decisions about their education. School's boring. 51, 52. 56. I want to go work with my dad. How will the skills they learn outside of the classroom? Is it fine? I can drive very good. Compete with what they're taught in school. Travellers don't need school. He's not a fast learner. I want to leave school in a year's time. Look, Paddy, look. Idiot. I'm only killing you there. Oh, I like school. I like school. We both like school. I hate it. I hate learning because I don't want to learn and I don't want to be a scientist or I don't want to be a chemist or something. I just want to be a roofer. I'm going to leave school when I'm 13 and a half and I'm going to go to work with my granddad. Good job. Children would stay in the school to the 18 and get a good education. That's what I want to do too. It's just the best to go to school so you can learn. There's a stop for a second, there's a spider. Where? There. Nine-year-old Paddy and his older brother Jimmy live on an authorised site in Essex. I love living in this site because it can mix with other travellers. We play with all the kids and we go on the motorbikes. It's fun. Gorgeous don't do all that because their mums won't let them because their fingers are not safe. But travellers, they, they trust them and the mobikes. Jesus Christ! My fucking wood! My wheel! It's broke completely. The wheel is fucked. This is a lot of bullshit. Won't drive at all, Paddy. From jail, look. Not only do Paddy and his friends have more freedom at home than a lot of non-traveller boys, their school life is also a little unusual. My school's different because it's full of travellers. Weird. Paddy's school is unlike any other in the UK. 98% of the pupils are from the travelling community. If you're in school and somebody calls you a name, would you go and ask your brother or your cousin or your sister to sort it out for you? No. Yes! Many traveller children have a bad experience of school as a result of bullying. But here, Paddy is amongst friends. Your mum is so fed, people run around her for exercise. Your mum is so poor, she uses a, she uses a fork to eat cereal to save milk. Ah, uh, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> Nearly all of our pupils are from the travelling community. But actually, numbers vary a lot from week to week, from day to day. Um, because obviously our families travel. Did you see the fight last night? Yep. There's definitely an element of having to be flexible, but the kids in this school are great. And I suppose having a population of pupils from predominantly one culture can help those pupils feel like school is more inclusive for them. It's good there because we're travellers and other travellers like to play with the other travellers. You feel more comfortable, comfortable around them. With loads of country people, normally they won't let us play with them because uh, they don't they don't like travellers on the map. Okay, turn around. Traveller children are often on the road for family reasons, 
and by law, most schools allow them long periods of absence. So here, and then we go back up, we don't take our pen off. And in a school with so many travellers, that brings extra challenges. Remember, Paddy, you're using the grey lines. Yeah? And uh, see if you can do a couple in those lines. Keep going. With a transient population of pupils, we want to find a position where children can learn to their best. So the children are grouped according to their reading ability, regardless of their age. It's all about meeting individuals' needs. But despite all the positives of this particular school, Paddy's upbringing means he can't wait to be free of the confines of the classroom. Travellers don't need school as much as they go out when they're 12 to work. In school you just do your ABC and it's just stupid, I already know it. I want to leave school in a year's time and I want to go work with my dad. Block pave and roof and do everything like that. When I want to leave school, my life's going to be better. In Hampshire, ten-year-old Romany Gypsy Shannon is visiting her great-grandma, Lena. I know what one it is. The, that no, one. The in the middle. With the wagon. My great-grandma taught my mum how to cook, clean and look after children. For generations, the women in Shannon's family have been proud homemakers and Shannon is about to join them. That's Granny. That's Granny. When she leaves primary school at the end of this term, she'll be pulling out a formal education to concentrate on her domestic training. It was Shannon's christening the night that um, Granny sort of passed away, and she was the only one that um, she got to meet. That's why she's very special to us, isn't she, Shannon? We've talked about her just like she's still here, but we just like to... She's yeah, everywhere. She's in heaven. Yeah, she is, isn't she? I'm going to follow in her footsteps as well. Shannon's decision to leave school has the full support of her family. We like the girls to be able to stay home, learn how to cook, clean, just learn how to be girls, really. Shannon's family live on an authorised site. Making the breakfast where she's already getting a taste of what lies ahead. I help my mum to clean, cook, and look after the boys and my little gremlin sister. I ain't making a breakfast. You're a boy, that's why. Yeah, boys don't make breakfast. Girls do. I can't wait to leave school, because then I'll get a bit more freedom, no homework, no bullies. But will life after school live up to her expectations? As a travelling woman, it's very important to keep your home clean and tidy. Eat properly, don't eat like a two-year-old, you're four years old. She's got a lot to learn. She don't really like washing up, because she says it makes her hands go funny. I wouldn't trust her with the oven yet. Elena, come have your hair done. I have more fun being at home than I do at school. Place, My grandma left school when she was 10. My mum left school when she was 10, so that means I'm going to leave school when I'm 10, and that's a family tradition. In County Offaly, Ireland, Nine-year-old Irish traveller William can't wait for the school day to end so he can get back to his family's farm. I like chickens because they're fun. You want to feed them and play with them. Hello. Like many traveller boys, the outdoor life comes naturally to William. Hold on, girl, hold on. And animals are his biggest passion. First I have to do my homework and then, like, the minute I have my homework, I go, chicken man. You have to feed them, give them water. Some days you have to throw in grass if they're too wide. Some days you have to get a bit of grass and throw it in the air up there. And if they're if they're not that wild, you can leave them out. Some people fight them with even the big ones and like knocks them out, and they have to like to get sick and die. But I wouldn't like to do that. 
rearing the best animals, is a source of great pride for travellers, and none are more highly prized than their horses. Like, some days I'm with the chickens and some days I'm with the horses. The horses, uh, like, they're a more step up and they're harder job. Developing his skills as a horseman is a way for William to build his reputation within the traveller community. And these vital skills can't be learned in the classroom. It's important to be like a good horseman because people will like say, he's a good man with a horse and gosh, I could never do that when I was his age. On a neighboring farm, William's 12-year-old cousin, Davin, has been learning horsemanship from his dad for longer than he's been at school. When I was only that, that size, I used to go with him, and he used to give me the reins. We put a lot of time into our horses. Tomorrow, Davin will be riding with his older cousin in the first sulky drive of the season. When the horse is happy, we're happy. Uh, this is... Um, some people call it a dewey, or some people call it a cart. But we call it a sulky. Up where the back is, we clips it into the harness, the straddle. How do we do it? And then we sit up here, up here. And our feet is like up here, look. I'll even show you, put down there. How do That's the way it goes like that. That's where we use it, like that. Sulky drives involving horses and carts have been social occasions for travellers for over 400 years. To help keep traditions alive, William and his dad will also be riding in tomorrow's event. My favourite bit about the horse drivers is when they go a bit fast, when they're running like, and they're all going together. The ride will test their abilities, as they'll be trying out an inexperienced horse. This is like going to be her first experience. So she hasn't been out this year before, so um, we don't know what she, she could like mess at this drive. But it's also a chance for William to develop traveller skills that will be just as important to his future as any academic grades. I'm going to be concentrating on my daddy the way he drives the horses and says steady on the horses, and I'm going to look at the horse too in case he like messes or anything. My dad learned from his dad, and his dad learned from his dad, and I learned from my dad. Did you have a good day to the high girls? I was school today, I was born because I had to write a fun fact thing, but it wasn't fun. And then we had to go to the library, but I don't like the library because it's boring, it got loads of rubbish books. Ten year old Shannon has made an important decision about her future. This is my last year at primary school, and then it's the summer holidays, and then no more school for me. Come on then, let's go do my own work. Seven times something, take away something is four. I'm good at my adding, not my taking away, not my dividing, only my adding. Shannon started school at the age of six, and has struggled to keep up with a lot of her classmates. People at my school, they, they know more than what I do because they, they've been at school longer than me, but they know like how to write better than me and they know the spell, they know their maths and that. Like, what question I just got, I didn't know, but they would know that, like, in a click, and then they would, get, they would probably get a mark for it. School ain't always that fun. Sometimes it could be a bit boring with the maths. It's always boring. Shannon believes the skills she can learn outside of school are far more relevant to life as a traveller woman. And over the years, she's already learned a lot of lessons from Mum. It can't be too squidgy. Today, they're making a traditional gypsy bacon pudding. I'll just put just bacon, onion, and just a little bit of pepper in it. I will be learning more things when I'm out of school. I'd look after the home and clean the outside. And you must learn how to cook. Do you want to lay the bacon down? Yeah. But cooking isn't Shannon's strong point. This is a bit messy, this bit. Yeah. 
It's slimy, it's not very nice. I can cook chicken nuggets and chips. These bits are sloppy. I cooked a cupcake over my auntie's once and it didn't turn out that well. It was burnt. Right, Shannon, just sprinkle some of the onions over. Don't put too many on. Tradition is important. I'd love for Shannon to be able to get married and to be able to cope with things as well as I did when I got married. This is the tricky part. And what way do you think we should roll it? This is way. It, yeah. I feel, as a woman, it's obviously nice to keep the home together for pride, really. It's not because we have to, it's because we want to. <laughs> it reminds you of when you're petting a little baby. <laughs> Once Shannon is at home full time, she'll focus on fine tuning all the skills she needs. That's quite a fat pudding. I'm not going to miss anything from the school. I just think it's a suitable place for me. Put it in the pot. Watch your fingers. Do you want me to wash and you dry? No, you dry, I'll wash. Like Shannon, most traveller girls start learning from their mums at a young age, but at just five years old, Shannon's cousin Lindiana isn't yet troubled by domestic duties. Well, I love my mum and dad a hundred, but I love my mummy the most. No, my daddy the most. Whatever I ask for, they get it for me straight away. While traveller boys are encouraged to pursue hobbies that prepare them for manhood, girls often have a more protected childhood. If it weren't for that elf, we would tip over. It's because the girls are special and the boys are, like, irritating. Boys are stinky. I hate them. I hate boys. And Lindiana has learned that being her parents' little princess comes with big advantages. I like Spanish dresses and they're expensive. But it's all important if you have matching bows. Sometimes I get um, Chanel earrings. All the girls get whatever they want. So that matches, yep. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, Lindiana has a new item on her wish list. I want to be a singer like Patsy Klein. I said to my mummy, um, Mummy, can I make a... Um, a CD and she said, yeah. In the motor, in the motor. So today, at Lindiana's request, her dad is taking her to a recording studio and she's very clear about who's in the driving seat. At the studio, I'm going to be the boss. Hello. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you doing? Not too What's bad. What's your name? Lindiana. I'm going to tell people what they have to do and boss them around. There's my teeth. Right, I'm going to make it quite milky, yeah? But not too strong. Now, look at the colour of that. Ugh. Ugh, what's that? That's a wet. It's probably a bit of water. Ugh. We're ready to go now. You're ready, ready to go, go now? Ready to oh. sing out, Kishwab? Oh. Let's do some recording. She's probably the most demanding lady we've had in the studio to date. Do we know if the microphone's the right height? Let me just say, yeah, that's the right height. We're going to put these on, these earphones. Singing is a skill valued by both traveller girls and boys. Is that nice and snug? And country music is a particular passion. I love singing and singing's fun and singing's good for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Brilliant. The moon lies, Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on one that's gone, I love me blue. The moon Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on one that's gone and left me blue. Left me blue. Whoa. Well done. Fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, you must be dead proud of her. Oh, I'm very proud of her. Ah, oh, can't get me a pencil. <laughs> In the next few years, <gasps> Lindiana will start learning how to run her future home. Are you a daddy girl, Lindiana? But for now, she's more than happy to let everyone else run around after her. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. 
You don't want a cup of tea, OK. So what, when did you start drinking tea, then? Tim Poy can't get it. When he's not in school, nine-year-old Paddy spends much of his time under the wing of his older brother, Jimmy. Bad shot. Jimmy's pretty important to me uh, for the teaching he does because he learns me new stuff every day. Right, see so the safety? Yeah. When you're not shooting, keep the safety out. He teaches me how to shoot rabbits, pheasants, birds. We eat them and cook them. Three, two, one. It's fun killing birds. It's, it's a traveller thing. We know what we're doing because we've been doing it like all our life. Yeah. Yeah. In traveller culture, being a strong role model goes hand in hand with being the oldest brother. If the gun's too heavy, you've got to lean on the shoulder. Yeah. I'll lean your shoulder if it's too bad for me. Paddy do learn a lot from me. If the older brother's stupid, he's going he's gonna to go up stupid. Got it. Jimmy left formal education two years ago. And when he's not being homeschooled, he works at his dad's construction business. Are you enjoying school at the moment? No. <laughs> and Paddy can't wait to follow in his footsteps. When you go to work in the morning and I go to school in the morning, I feel like shit and you go to... <laughs> you go to work and do a lot of fun stuff. Do you wish you could come out with me and my daddy every day? Yeah. What's work like? Hard. It can be good. After times, it can be stressful, very stressful. Why don't you like school? It's just shit and boring, and I don't want to go to it ever. Paddy wants to leave school next year, but Jimmy is concerned it's a decision he'll live to regret. You have to learn how to read and write. You can read. You can write. We can write. We can write. Not, not barely. We have to learn. You have to. What's that? It's an A. That doesn't look like an A. I know. There's only two months until ten-year-old Shannon will be leaving school for good. Oh, I'm going to write my name. Sorry, got carried away. With her mum as teacher, she's already started her domestic education. I up a wash up, dry up, hoover, dress my brothers and my sister. Whoa, that colour's beautiful. I know. This morning, she's entertaining her cousin Lena with a game of shops. Next princess in line, please. Hello. Hello. Okay. Well, and one's OK. Right. Oops, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I'll just let you have a penny off. Ta-ta, ta-ta. Got your change. What do you need to be able to run your own shop? Uh, you need baby clothes, a teal, and you need to learn your maths because, like I did, I'd done it wrong, so then I had to start it again. Like 60% of traveller children, Shannon will be leaving school with no formal qualifications. Stop, Elena, come here. Stop fidgeting. But she believes the lessons she's learning at home already give her the edge over her non-traveller classmates. Dress. No. Dress now. No. Come on, then, let's put your dress on, yeah? The gorgeous at my school try to act like they're better than you, like they're perfect. Let Shannon put on your dress. Gorgeous girls. They, they don't help their mum with thing. There's a syrup on the sofa and their phone. Apparently, they can't last one minute without their phone. I can. <laughs> I can last 20 minutes. Shannon may be learning some vital life skills, but it's becoming clear that the path she's chosen won't be without its challenges. Elena, you're a proper little madam, you are, not you? Well, I'm not going to be a mother when I'm old. That's for sure. It's not a good, she's showing the whip. Like Shannon, 
nine-year-old William and his 12-year-old cousin Davin are learning valuable skills outside of school. Horse drives are important to me because they're learning me how to be like a good horseman when I get older. Today, the boys are taking part in the first traveller horse drive of the season. Why do you love horses? Well, I love horses. Because that's the way I look, I keep you out of trouble. The horses that keep you out of trouble keep your mind occupied. Today's events will be a test of each team's abilities as they cover a five mile route that will bring them onto major roads. Oh, the rain is really bad. There's no right there, there's that one there. Yeah. Horse drives are mainly social occasions for men in the traveller community. Oh, she's stupid. But the competitive traveller spirit is never far away. I mean, That's right. No, we're going to be part. Hello. What about this one over here? Scratch Any good? Yes. And um, what about this one here for tonight? Any good? What about this one? No good. Okay. For the sake of family pride, a good performance today is important. His horse is no good. But William and his dad are working with a young horse, and riding in busy traffic will be a big test of his experience. Nah, there's no turning back. We have to go. I think that you learn more out of school than what you do in school because in school you've got the teachers telling you about maths and English and that, but outside of school it's like the real world, isn't it? I want to be a professional fighter on a motor, but if I'm not, I'm hoping to be a roofer. Something like electrician or plumbing, something like that. Um, a hairdresser. A hairdresser. A hairdresser. Girls shouldn't go out working. Girls are meant to stay at home and do all, look after the children now. If a boy did a girl job, that would be, be a boy. massive div. <laughs> no, no. Just checking her for higher loads. In Manchester, nine-year-old Irish traveller Michael lives on an authorised traveller site with his family. Pull the lipstick out. I'm just checking for oil here now. I do go to school but I don't like going because it's not fair because the teachers, they get paid for sitting in the warm. We do a lot of work as well and we don't even get paid nothing, not even a pound. Michael may not be top of the class, but his family is schooling him in skills that will guarantee him a good living in the future. So I'm just putting the jump leads on. <laughs> Do any of your friends at school now have to do this? No. Not one of them. I should be at work and it's important for us to work now so we know what to do when we're older. Just back it out. In the traveller community, many children learn as much from their elders as they do from their teachers. I can drive very good. I was just in the car one day and my dad said, do you want to drive? So I said, yeah, and he brought me to a car park and he let me drive around. And then I just learned. Go on, go back. Go on, just keep back and back. Go on, just pull it there. Oh, oh, hallelujah. When he grows up, Michael intends to take over his family's tarmacking and paving business. And this morning, he's getting some on-the-job training from his granddad. This is a crowbar. We need this to lift the flags. Yeah. The pickaxe to break them. And I still saw if you want to cut the bricks. My granddad, he shows me how to do things and we get paid for it as well. Having started work with his own dad at the age of eight, Grandad is more than happy for Michael to learn the ropes at a young age. I feel a bit sorry for the guardy kids because the parents doesn't trust them. He wants to learn all this because he wants to go out one day and do it himself. It is 
is hard because you have to lift up flags. Dig it under, Michael. Put the pick on there. First, we have to level the ground, then we have to sand it. You might think it's easy because it's only sand and bricks, but it's not. I haven't got my muscles yet, but soon I will. I'm not really strong, but I can do it. Come on, Michael. It might be tough work, but for Michael, it's far more appealing than the sort of jobs his non-traveller classmates might end up doing. When I'm older, I don't want to be working in the office because it's just like going back to school again, writing a load of papers. Two more bricks there, Michael, here. For me, it's easier to work outside because I'm a travelling boy and non-travellers, they don't like working outside because they think it's too cold. They're too used to houses. Oh, we haven't got much more to do now. After four hours of shoveling, lifting and bricklaying, Michael has learned a few more important lessons. Is this what you want to do, Michael? Yeah. When you grow up, when you finish school? Yeah. I'm proud of my grandson, he's done a fine job today. It's not about just working, you can have some fun too while you're there. Are you going to grow up to be a fine travelling fella? It's better in school because all you have to do is lay bricks and get money. <laughs> Couple more bricks and that's it all done then, Michael. We all finished for the day. It's time for cousins Davin and William to move on with their out-of-school education. I'm very excited about this today. Traveller men have been riding horses and carts down these lanes for generations. And today, seven families are taking part in the first sulky drive of the season. Jump up, jump up. But for the boys, this is about more than nostalgia. I'm going to find out today who's fastest. Their five-mile trip begins at a gentle trot. But as the road opens up onto a busy dual carriageway, the race is on. We're coming in power! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Relax! It wasn't that good when we were all jogging, but then when we let them go, it was good. Despite its inexperience, William's horse takes the lead. Yeah, yeah! But as traffic builds up behind them, the horse is spooked and they're forced to slow down. We were first before the bridge and then she got afraid. Hey, where you go? Hey, where you go? Despite the setback, William's horse still manages a good result. Niall's on one and my one comes, Daddy's on comes second. It was good. And as for Davin... We came last! It's been a good learning experience for the boys and the skills they've picked up will be as important to their future as traveller men as any formal qualifications. I want to um, do that from the horses and I grow up too. Do you mind being at the last? No. All I, I, I like goes out for the crack. Oh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So your first sentence, I went to the park. Although school performance levels are improving... I'm here. Gypsies and travellers have the worst academic record of any ethnic group. Looking at the national tests, age 11, of the general population, 53% of pupils achieved the national expectations in reading, writing and maths, whereas only 13% of Gypsy Roma uh, pupils achieved that level. So educational outcomes at 11 are really poor. At his mainly traveller primary school, nine-year-old Paddy has the chance to book the trend. She fancies him, but he doesn't fancy her. Then I must be the good looking spy in the school if they all like me. Paddy is an extremely well mannered, hard working little boy. Um, he's really delightful to have in school. But Paddy's interests lie elsewhere. School's boring. 
What I'm saying at that desk, I just want to be working with Jimmy and my dad. They just do way more stuff and it's better. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Paddy wants to leave school when he turns 10. But older brother Jimmy thinks that could be too soon. I left school at 11. Travellers leave school at like, and where, when they can read and write. Read and write and add up numbers. Paddy can't do it. How are we doing? Not so good. I struggle with the maths. It's just the, it's the hardest out of the lot. And uh, multi multiplicating and all that. 51, 52, 56, 59. When you go to a job and they say add up or measure that, and, and, and then you go, yeah, I can't do it. You do it for me. You can't just do it, you need to learn. That's why you need to go to school and get education. But although Paddy looks up to his big brother, on this point, they don't agree. He tells me you'd be stupid when you're older. You won't know how to count money or learn things. It's just shit. The best thing about working is getting money, because it gets you trailers, homes, mobiles, shellies, cars, watches, rings and a wife. Ten-year-old Shannon is marking the end of her school career with a party. Today, I am going roller discoing because it's my last term at school, and I can't wait to go because all my cousins are going to be there. Well, all my girl cousins anyway. New boys allowed. Do you hate school? Yes. Oh. I I don't mind it, but sometimes it is boring. I'm going to stay at home helping my mum and looking after my little sister. Aww. I don't know how my mum could cope with her when we were at school. <laughs> She'd be teaching me how to cook properly. Because she has learned me a lot. I don't know what else she needs to learn me. What are you going to miss the most when you leave school? Mm, nothing. Close your eyes two seconds. Is that OK? <laughs> I'm not going to miss anything when I leave school. I'm just going to be happy little Mel. I've never been my little skin before. I'll probably trip up on my first turn. Although Shannon is more interested in learning from her mum than her teachers, there's another big reason why she's happy to be stepping away from school. What do you think about gorgeous girls who are teenagers in secondary school? Uh, disgusting. Travelling girls, they like to look their best. Like what I'm wearing now. I like Spanish clothes, but they would wear belly tops, mini skirts and all that. It's a bit awkward, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to do now you're leaving school? Yeah, well, actually, no. <laughs> As Shannon looks forward to the next chapter of her life, she's no regrets about the choice she's made. No more school, no more homework, no more irritating teachers bossing you around. Exactly. And the grown-ups in the family also can't wait to have her around full-time. Now you've finished school, are you going to start babysitting for me? Could you help me clean up, Shane? Oh. You'll babysit this one more. Yeah, you can look after the kids while we go out for the night. No. <laughs> Shannon's new life might not be quite as rosy as she hopes. I'll learn you how to wash up then, Shan. But a world with no school appears to be an inspiring prospect. I'm the next one to leave. So um, I don't have to do any more homework if I, I don't really do it anyway. And I, you can help me babysit the girls when I'm, when I'm um, old enough. Yes. If you want us to babysit, you have to pay us a penna. We're going to be changing your name to Shannon Rella. <laughs> Shannon Rella? Cinderella. 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 Uh, <laughs> I thought I was meant to be having a break. <laughs> 
You've got to get on and start it. Like I told you. While Shannon gears up for her new life at home... Right, turn the key to start, hold it there. Nine-year-old Paddy is keen to prove he's ready to go out to work. When you want to push it down, pull it back like that. So today, he's asked older brother Jimmy to teach him some skills. Don't crash it in the fence. Right now, he isn't that sensible. He thinks we're off having fun at work. Well, once he leaves school, he'll know. No? No? Yeah. I think it's going to be much better when I go work with my dad. In school, you just sit on a table and learn how to do a B. He's not a fast learner. Easy, Paddy. Paddy, lift the bucket back up. Look, Paddy, look. Oh! <laughs> Get off. What? Get off. Do what? Why? Kill me. Why? Kill me there. <laughs> Get off. Whoa! Jimmy thinks Paddy's rush to give up an education is a mistake. And he wants to try and change his brother's mind. I want to leave school when I'm nine. I, and I am nine. Yeah, you, you, you can barely count to 100. You need to add times, you need to do all that for work. So if you think that's not handy in school, it is. What's two fours? Two fours is... What is it? That's why you need to. That's why you need to stay in school. You don't have to do times. What's times? Add and end. Take away. See, you need to learn all that. If you stay in school for a bit longer, like a couple of more years, you've only got like three years left. That three years, though, can learn you a lot. You don't know what four four hours, but I promise you're gonna stay in school when you're eleven. I promise I'm going to stay to school until I'm 11. How many years is that? 12. Two. Two more years to go in school. Can you teach me how to drive the digger? I've got to make sure when I leave school and learn all my maths and do count it and multiply it and all that. Sometimes you just have to do it. Otherwise you're going to be stupid when you're older and you won't know. How do you like turn? Turn. You press one of them. Jimmy's advice finally seems to be getting through. I think I get it now. He has to learn lots of things. You want to do it? He knows he has to listen. Well, it comes straight. Look. Most gypsy and traveller families now appreciate the importance of formal education. Scared of spiders. Good girl. But for the children, the barriers are still high. So he punched me up and kneed me in the face. There are huge problems with prejudice and bullying in schools. I've been to 10 schools. I had to leave because I got strangled. There are issues with support when parents struggle with their own literacy. This is my one and it doesn't fit you anyway. There are challenges of absenteeism as families relocate for work or are forcibly relocated by the authorities. This is a council matter and you've got to get it to your take school. We have nowhere to go now. But whether in the classroom. So it's 14. 14 and 6 is 20. Or in the school of life. Oh, good deal, eh? Gypsy kids are ambitious. I've always been trying to come first. Keen to learn. Relax a little bit. Easy, Paddy. And often find a way to succeed. Paddy, stop! In the end. <laughs> You're off the ground. <laughs> Look at yourself. Look at the way you did it. Get off. Next time, that's it. Shakira is out to prove girls are as good as boys. Oh, you're a boy. Why do you act like that? You're not allowed to do that. I don't care. I'm doing it, aren't I? Margaret's pilgrimage to pray for her brother's health doesn't go to plan. Margaret, James has got a funny colour. His lips went dry. He was not OK. And gypsy campaigner Ben... I am asking for equality. ..has been attacked at school again. I don't bring my kids up to have to fight a war. I don't know whether some kid's going to bring a knife into school and then stab me. And that same time next week. Brand new tomorrow night at 10. She worked so hard to build a career only to see it tumble down around her because of her personal life. Anthea Turner opens up in brand new In Therapy. Next tonight, blowing the lid on those who swindle the system with the undercover benefits cheat. <laughs>